Huh. What's up? What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, my morning started off absolutely amazing. I woke up at the crack of dawn this morning and caught me a slot snook right there. This fish has only been in the cooler for a few hours and guess what? It's what's for dinner. Guess what? I'm having a great day and if you're having a great day, smash a like on this video because guess what? I can assure you, you're going to love this video. I'm going to be flaying this puppy up right here, beautiful snook. And uh, yeah, you guys, today we're going to be heading over to the local beaches. We're going to be chasing fish just like that, but we're going to be catching a lot of baby fish to feed to our big 4,000 gallon aquarium and maybe some other fish that are around the house. But as we're in, in the meantime, while we're doing that, we're going to see if we can catch some, some more of those puppies and we'll see how the video goes. I know you guys are going to enjoy this, so I'll see you guys at the beach. All right, everybody, we have made it to the beach. I apologize if it is windy and the audio is bad, but listen up. We've been walking for about half a mile, and we just found a giant school of pilchards that's coming our way, so we're going to get ready here now. Today, we're going to be catching a bunch of bait fish, taking them back to the 4,000-gallon pond and feeding all those monster fish. Here we have it. Look at this bad boy right here. This is the only reason why we can walk a mile and a half. Gorilla cart loaded with everything we need. We've got our fishing rods here because we're going to load up the bucket. We're going to take some back that are alive and some back that are dead. And then on the walk back, we're going to see if we can catch some big fish. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. we got to fill these buckets up with a ton of baby fish. Let's do it. All right, the bait pod is officially here. We got our net fully engaged and ready, baby. I'm going to walk out there. We're not going to bring the camera out there because the ocean's a little bumpy. And I don't feel like ruining another camera. I'm already 1500 bucks in the hole. I don't feel like going another 1500. That'll equal three grand. I'll be right back. You guys are gonna see it from here. All right, guys, here comes Jack now. He's got the bait. Man, they're big, bro. Check it out, y'all. We got a good amount. They were so deep. Look, I'm soaking wet. Up to my neck. I was almost drowning. Let's get them in the bucket. They're coming closer. I want to get some more, baby. Let's go. All right, we're going to put them all in this bucket. And I'm going to take some and keep them alive. But all these puppies are coming home with us. Dude, look at the size of that one. That's a hoss. That is a hoss right there. Those are some good sized bait, guys. Yes, they are. All right, there you go. I would say we have about 50 of them, yep. 40 to 50 of them. We can get a heck of a lot more. We got about 50 of these dead, and then we have some right here that are alive. Now it's time to break out that big fish energy and catch something big before we go home and feed the pond. Of course, we're gonna get some more fish, though. All right, we're in an extreme rush because we're gonna get struck by lightning. Show them the storm behind us. Eww. Nice big storm. Big storm behind us. Lucky the pilchards came right here. I don't know if you guys can see the darker cloud in the water, but I'm gonna net right now. You guys are about to <laughs> your pants when you see how many fish I'm about to get. Watch this. We don't need any more bait fish. We're gonna start walking back to the car. If we do see a giant fish, we're gonna try to catch it. If not, you'll be seeing us back at the pond. Hey go guys, we got lightning, we got rain, we got wind, I'm pulling a big bucket. We gotta go, see you guys in the truck, no time to fish, let's go. Well, it's the next morning. Yesterday was an absolute scramble fest because we had that big storm coming. We tried to get it done as quickly as possible, so I apologize if that footage was absolutely all over the place, but you know what time it is. It's time to feed some fish, baby. I kept the live pilchards alive overnight. They're right here. Got a bunch of them in here. The nice live pilchards. Look at all those bad boys right there. Perfect size for this giant pond. These peacock bass, look at the two of them. They are ready and fired up to rock and roll, baby. There's the tarpon. Look at that thing. So graceful. It's first thing in the morning here. What a way to start the day. I'm going to put the GoPro in the water now. This is going to be absolute insanity. Get ready for it, ladies and gentlemen. The GoPro is fully engaged. The fish are ready. The baits are ready to go in there. It's gonna be an absolute feeding frenzy, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. All right, 
Ugh, let's see, our first winner right here. We're gonna name you Fish. The peacock literally just went up to the GoPro to check it out. Ready for this, guys? You guys are gonna see it underwater. Oh my God. They're pissed off. I'm gonna grab a whole handful, okay? A whole handful, throw them in there, get ready. They're gonna go berserk. Got the baits, here we go. Now that you guys saw that happen underwater, I wanna show you what it's like above water because the fish are coming out of the water. That was a lot of water. They're coming out of the water and blowing up. They're literally just tossing the pilchards out of the pond. Here we go, I'm gonna grab another handful, chuck it in there, you guys are gonna be blown away. You know what guys, the fish are not cooperating the way I thought they were gonna, so I'm gonna roll a bunch of underwater footage of them just going absolute ham. Then I'm gonna take you guys upstairs because I did a remodel to the tank and the fish have, I kid you not, they've tripled in size. I need to keep, get you guys updated on that. I've not shown you the tank in a while. so. Enjoy this underwater footage, then I'll be seeing you guys in my room. All right, that's it for the underwater footage. I have one more pilchard in my hand here that's dead at the bottom bucket but check out this school of pilchards we got new fish for the pond pretty much look at those guys just hanging out in the corner you know just vibing you know they were supposed to get eaten but now they're just pet fish i guess let's feed this dead pilchard to one of these giant catfish here we go call them over just like that come on gentle giant right there Let's head upstairs. I'm gonna show you guys the fish in my room because guess what? The tank's almost done. I'm gonna get one more fish for it and I'm gonna call it quits. That's gonna be it. Then I'm gonna grow them all out, upgrade them to a bigger tank. Enough talking, let's go upstairs. Feed some fish, baby. Well, I just walked into the tank room and remembered how much you guys absolutely love the yellow-headed moray eel that we have. And I have a live pilchard for him. So you know what? I'm sure you guys wanna see it. I sure do too. So let's feed it to him. All right. Come here. There you go. Perfect. Check that out. That is going to get smoked by the yellow-headed moray eel, baby. Let's go. He likes to sit in this rock here, so I'm going to drop it right here. Just wait. Wait till that moray eel senses him. Where is he? There's the eel. There's the eel head. Here he comes. He knows the pilchard's in here. Here he comes. He's coming out. Oh, baby. He knows something's up in here. Yeah, buddy. He knows something's up. The pilchard's over here, though, right there, dancing. It's just dancing. I, where'd you learn to do flips like that, bud? Our eel is on the move. He is on the move. There's our eel and our pilchard's right here. Move over. There he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. We gotta sit down, we gotta get engaged. He knows it's over there. He's making his way. Oh boy, here we go, he sees it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did we just see that or did we just see that? I think we just saw that. He's destroying it, he's destroying it. Oh my God, look at him, he's wrangling it back there like a python. Jesus Christmas. Oh my God, that was insanity. There he is, he got that pilchard down, let's drop him another. All right, come here buddy, you're gonna go join your friend in the eel's stomach. Oh, you just swam right by his face. Oh no, the eel went back in the cave. He went back in his cave. All right, we stuck it out to see if he was gonna eat that other pilchard, but it seems like he is full. I'm gonna let that one in here. He's just right there swimming, darting around. He will survive in here since he is a saltwater fish, so he'll he'll live in here until Mr. Yellowhead and Moriel wants to eat him. Now I'll, got, I'll see you guys upstairs, show you guys the tank in my room. Y'all take a look at the size of these fish now. The albino arowana is starting to put on some beef. I mean some beef. The Orinoco really starting to get some speckles and colors. Oh my God, look at Tiny. We're gonna have to start calling you large soon, not Tiny anymore. Jesus Christmas. Ketchup, the unit. The refrigerator, the absolute linebacker of a catfish right there. That thing is massive with that gold stripe. Look how good that fish looks. He eats a whole shrimp to himself. He's an absolute savage. Look at these fish. And then we have the giraffe nose that just likes to sit in the plants right there. But as you guys can see, I literally took just about everything out other than the two moss balls there and there. And then the plants in the corner. Those plants in the corner, they seem to stay there all the time but as you guys can see even the moss ball got flipped over all those plants that they're out here 
ketchup would just flip over and they would just float straight to the top and they'd be all gone. So I took them all out. I brought them downstairs in the African cichlid tank and put them in there. But guys, these fish are getting so big. We are definitely going to be needing an upgrade soon. That is for sure. I definitely want to get one more fish. We're going to be adding one more fish and that's going to be it. So stay tuned for that. It is time to do some Discord shout outs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm turning freaking country on y'all right now. Here we go. All right, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Lemonhead and Edited T. Those guys, I mean, without them, I don't know how our Discord would be working. I mean, the positive energy those guys bring, it's awesome. So shout out to them. Shout out to Fish Guy Cousin Kyle. What a savage. I got to give three shout outs to my three main men in the freaking chat, all right? And then I'm going to do some other shout outs. Here we go. Two more. Boom. Here we go. Hunter Pro Cop, shout out to you. Thank you for joining. And shout out to... King Seabass 7 If you want to join the Discord, it's completely free. I'll have the link down in my description. You click it and you join. You get updated on everything. Also, guys, I'm only going to be posting videos Tuesday, Thursday now. Posting on Sunday as well is just too much for me with school and everything. But if I can get that extra video out to you guys, I will make it happen. But a lot of you guys are understanding that I... Not many of you guys know this, but I am a full-time college student. And I film for two channels, Monday through Friday. So just having to do all this and edit and everything, make thumbnails, it adds up. So... I need some time to relax on the weekends and I just can't do it. I tried, but you know what? I did my best, but expect videos every Tuesday, Thursday. I can assure you that I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for the support. If you want to, if you want to cop a fish guy hat, I think the, the big fish energy hats are already sold out. So if you got one of those while they lasted, congratulations. If not, we still got more hats on the site. Go check them out. I'll have it linked down in the description. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Boom.